children today we are going to revise for your periodic test 1 so your portion is first three lessons of your sem 1 so here now we are going to revise for your periodic test 1 question pattern choose five marks fill up five marks match five marks true or false five marks short answers six marks details eight marks diagram five marks one word answers five marks picture comprehension three marks unscrambled words three marks so totally you'll be having for 50 marks now shall we revise your first part choose so from among your three lessons we are going to see some choose the best answers t grows on dash t grows on dash plains hills deserts so what is the answer t grows on hills tree sorry t grows on hills the next one a dash plant is a shrub so now they are asking you a kind of plant which is shrub rose knee pumpkin which is the correct one good a rose plant is a shrub your next question sharks live in dash so where sharks will live forest ocean or nests so where sharks will be living so sharks live in ocean sharks live in ocean the next question human beings are dash we have classified the living things into three categories herbivores carnivores and omnivores so here we human beings are omnivores why because we eat both vegetables and flesh of the animals or meat the next one the stem of the creeper bears big and heavy dash on it so the stem of the creeper bears leaves stem or fruit yes very good the stem of the creeper bears big and heavy fruits on it that's why it is on the surface of the ground the next question a bird can dash in the sky a bird can dash in the sky fly walk run so what can do good a bird can fly in the sky the next question all living things dash with time so they are saying that something is happening for all living things they walk grow breathe so the right answer is all living things grow with time so there is a particular time with a particular time it will grow little more than more your the right question most of the plants reproduce through their dash so the plants will be produced through many ways but most over all over many plants will reproduce through seeds leaves or eggs good most of the plants reproduce through their seeds so most of the plants will reproduce through their seeds we have thick brown and woody stem called dash so what is it called it is called trunk root or creeper good it is called trunk tree have thick brown and woody stem called trunk they are called trunk as in your last question different animals eat dash types of food so everyone don't like all types of food isn't it so it's the same living things all living things do not eat same kind of food they eat different types of food so different animals eat different types of food is it clear children shall we move to the next part good your second part fillers so now we are going to learn or now we are going to revise fillers first question climbers are plants with dash stem so climbers are plants with very weak stem that's why these plants needs support the next question dash is an aquatic plant so there are so 
many examples we are taking here water lily or lotus is an aquatic plant that means it grows in the water the next one dash or big tall and strong plants so which is the big strong and tall plants good b or d b tall and strong plants so these are the big tall and strong plants the next one bees live in dash so where they will live bee hives they will live in bee hives bees live in bee hives is it clear children the next one wild animals live in the dash where they will live they will live in the house no so they will live in the forest wild animals live in the forest next one dash things can feel the changes around them so whatever is happening around us some things can feel it which things they are living or non living things good living things can feel the changes around them what are all happening around us only living things can feel the changes your seventh one living things need food and water to dash so we living things need food and water to survive we need food and water to survive eighth one dash wave their tails to show affection so which kind of animal to show you its affection in wagging its tails good dogs wave their tails to show their affection is it clear children ninth one dash or medium sized woody plants so what it is not so tall or it is not so short so they are medium sized woody plants what are they good they are shrubs shrubs are medium sized woody plants is it clear children and last one dash can be used as medicines and to add flavor to food so they are also used as medicines and we add it as flavor to the food so what is it good herbs can be used as medicines and to add flavor to the food is it clear children shall we move to the next part part 3 match the following so first i'll read the questions for you and then i will be options which is given here so then after we will discuss what is the correct answers first one animals human beings birds ants chair is a living thing cat bread is a fish cacti non flowering plants these are the questions shall we uh, read the options now man made things deserts Bones walk upright, build nests and hills, fins for swimming, move natural thing, plants that can complete their full life cycle in one year. So these are the options. Now we will see what are the correct answers. Animals. Animals means what? Good. Animals means plants that can complete their full life cycle in one year within the year next one human beings so here human beings which is very related to these human beings walk upright so human beings will walk upright so they will walk they will move their legs front back and side wise the next one birds so here birds build nests birds build nests the next one ants So ants, where do the ants live? They will live in the ant hills. They will live in the ant hills. Chair is a dash. Chair is a man-made thing. So we made these chairs and desks, isn't it? That's why they are called man-made things. Living things can. So what they can? Living things can move. Living things can move from one place to another. Red is a dash. Already we said chair is a man-made thing. Uh, if it is chair is a man-made thing, then rain is a natural thing. Rain is a natural thing. We cannot make it rain. Fish, which is very related to fish, fins. So fish will be having fins. Fins for swimming. Fish will be having fins for swimming. Cacti. So cacti is a plant which will grow 
tree is a plant which will grow in the desert regions. Non-flowering plants. So the last one is non-flowering plants. For these one non-flowering plants, example is ferns. The plant which is called ferns will not have any flower throughout its lifespan. Is it clear, children? Children. Next we will revise part four. True or false? First one. Non-living things cannot move on their own. Yes, of course. Non-living things cannot move on their own. Second one. Gold is used to make paper. Is it true? No. So wood is used to make papers. That means this statement is false. This statement is false. Next one. A puppy grows into a cat. A puppy will grow into a cat? No. It will grow into a dog. So that this statement is also false. Wings helps birds to fly. Yes, of course. The wings helps birds to fly. So this is true. The next one. Dolphins communicate through sounds and whistles. Yes, they are having separate sounds and whistles to communicate with each other. So it is true. The next one is ducks lay eggs. Yes, ducks will lay eggs. Why? Because they are the birds. They will lay eggs. They won't give birth to new ones. So this statement is also true. Carrot is an example of a biennial. So carrot is an example of biennial. So yes, of course, it is an example of biennial. So this statement is true. Leaves can prepare their own food. Leaves can prepare their own food with the help of the stomata. Yes, of course. This statement is also true. Ninth one. A car moves through some internal force. Is that any internal force inside the car to move? No. So some external force. Someone have to on it. So some external force have to be applied to the car. So this statement is false. The next one. Sand is used to make glass. Yes. Sand is used to make glass. So it is true. Is it clear children? Shall we move to the next one? So the next one. Part 5. Short answers. Part 5. Short answers. So what is your first question? How do plants breathe? So how do plants breathe? Plants breathe through tiny pores called stomata found in the leaves. Plants breathe through tiny pores called stomata found in the leaves. The next question, what do you mean by natural things? Answer, things that come directly from the natural world are called natural things. Things that come directly from the natural world is called natural things. Third one, make three man-made things. Name any three man-made things. Your first one is jewels using gold, glass using sand and jam and juice using fruits. So shall we recap it once again? What is it? Jewels using gold, glasses using sand, and jam and juice using fruits. Is it clear, children? The next one. Why do animals need a home? Why do animals need a home? Animals need a home to protect themselves and their young ones. Animals need a home. To protect themselves and their young ones. The next one. Where do wild animals live? Where do wild animals live? Wild animals live in forest.
animals and feed them with their milk. These animals are called mammals. The next one, what are big plants called? What are big plants called? Big plants are called trees. So big plants are called trees. What are they called? They are called trees. Example, neem tree and coconut tree. Neem tree and coconut tree is the example of trees. The next one, how does a creeper grow? How does a creeper grow? Creepers have weak stem which bears big and heavy fruits on it. So creepers have big stem which bears big and heavy fruits on it. So these plants grow and creep on the ground. So because of the heavy fruits, these plants creep on the ground. Is it clear children? Your last one. Name any two plants that grow on hilly region. So the first one is tea and the next one is pine. So two types of or two kinds of plants. One is pine and the next one is tea. Is it clear children? Shall we move to the next part? Part 6. Details. So answer in detail. These are our long answers. So here, how are plants classified based on their habits? So what is being said here? How plants are classified based on their habits? So here, based on their habits, plants are classified as terrestrial and aquatic plants. So they are classified into two types. Terrestrial and aquatic. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial. So plants that grow on land is called terrestrial and plants that grow in water is called aquatic. Plants that grow in water bodies such as lakes, rivers and oceans are called aquatic plants. So terrestrial plants means they will grow on the land. Aquatic plants means they will grow in the water bodies such as lakes, rivers and oceans. Is it clear children? Your next question. Write a few sentences about annual, perennial and sorry, biennial and perennial. Shall we see now? So first one, annual. An annual is a plant that can complete its full life cycle from germination to death in one growing season. So, an annual is a plant that can complete its full life cycle from germination to death in one growing season. Is it clear children? Your next one. So, for this, for per, uh, annual, examples of marigold and sunlight. So, examples of annual is marigold and sunlight. Your next one, biennial. So, biennial, a biennial generally completes its life cycle in two years. By means two. So, a biennial generally completes its life in two years. For example, carrot and green job. For example, carrot and green job. Is it clear children? Your next one is perennial. A perennial is a plant that lives for three or more years. Three or more years. A perennial is a plant that lives for three or more years. For example, neem tree and coconut tree. Neem tree and coconut tree. So we move to the next question children. Go. The next one. How do human beings and animals move? How do human beings and animals move? So here, human beings walk in upright position. We human beings walk in upright positions. The flexible backbone enables them to bend forward, backward and to their sides. So animals can move on their on, on the surface of the ground. So animals can move on the surface of the ground in water and in air. So they can move on the water, they can move in the air and they can move on the ground. The next question, in what ways does the fully developed brain help human beings? So in what way this fully developed brain helps us? The fully developed brain helps human beings to think, reason out, recollect and to do many more things. So they help us in to think, reason out, recollect and to do many more things. Is it clear children? Shall we move to the next one? Your next question, differentiate between living and 
non living things do not breathe so living things will breathe non living things do not breathe all living things can move non living things cannot move so all these living things can move but non living things cannot move all living things need food and water for their survival so all these living things need food and water to survive but non living things do not need food and water to survive your next point all living things grow so if it is a living thing it will be having a growth if it is small some after some years or after later some times it will grow but non living things will not grow the next one living things reproduce so living things reproduce means they will give birth to young ones or they will lay eggs that it will hatch and a new one will come out of the egg but non living things will not or do not reproduce is it clear children the next one living things can feed so if i am going to touch if i am angry or if i am happy so we living things will feed but non living things cannot feed and the next one all living things live for a specific time and they die so if it is a living thing it will live for a time and then it will die but non living things will not die and it won't have any specific time is it clear children so your detail answers is over read everything carefully read everything with your spellings don't make any spelling mistakes in your exam paper so next part diagram so diagram is nothing but a question will be asked to you and you have to write up or you have to draw the thing what has been asked so if i am going to ask you draw each any one animal for each topics if i am going to say each topics what are the each topics it might be herbivores carnivores and omnivores if i am going to say herbivores you can draw a cow if i am going to say omnivores you can draw human being if i am going to say so if i am going to say herbivores you can draw cow if i am going to say carnivores you can draw lion or tiger if i am going to say omnivores you can draw human beings so read the question carefully what is given in the question paper and draw according to the question is it clear children and the next one picture comprehension so a picture will be given to you you have to observe what is given in the picture and you have to write what the question is asked in those pictures so let our pages 22 23 24 39 and 57 in your textbook let our pages 22 23 24 
paper must be submitted in neat, neat and clean. And you have to use pencil. Children, listen carefully. You have to use pencil. Write the date, day, subject and your name. Don't forget to write your name, date, subject and date. So submit your paper on. 